Now to the latest on the attack on Paul Pelosi. NBC News has now learned more details about the moment police officers arrived. The new insight gives a fuller picture of the 82 year olds response in the middle of the emergency. NBC's Miguel Almaguer has more. This morning, Paul Pelosi is home, back at the house that became a crime scene a week ago today. NBC News learning new details about the moments police arrived. Sources familiar with what unfolded in the Pelosi residence now revealing when officers responded to the high priority call, they were seemingly unaware they'd been called to the home of the Speaker of the House. After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. The 82 year old did not immediately declare an emergency or tried to leave his home, but instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant and away from police. It's unclear if the 82 year old was already injured or what his mental state was, say sources. According to court documents, when the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled and said everything's good, but instantaneously a struggle ensued as police clearly saw David DePap strike Paul Pelosi in the head with a hammer. After tackling the suspect, officers rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. What we do know is he brutally attacked Mr. Pelosi and attempted to kill him. After spending several days in the ICU, Pelosi, who is recovering from a fractured skull and serious injuries to his arm and hand, is now home where Capitol Police remain on alert. Investigators have previously said Pelosi did not know DePap when the 42-year-old broke into his home. Why Pelosi didn't try to flee or tell responding officers he was in distress is unclear. Fear takes over. Fear freezes people. This morning, the 82-year-old lucky to be alive after an intruder nearly killed him in his own home.